Hi guys, today we're going to be having a look at a starter kit. This was sent on to me direct by Inikin themselves and I've had it for a few weeks actually. Uh, it's the Inikin CLK. Now this is the silver version. There is a pink version and I am vaping with the black version. I've just been putting more juice in it. Now, for those of you that don't know, I now work in a vape store and uh, I spend most of my day selling starter kits and packs, things like that. And, do you know, I have to say that this is pretty bloody impressive for the money. Now, I've seen them selling for about £30 online. Uh, I'll go into all the details, what you get in it and so on, things like that. Uh, but I just have to say I'm pretty impressed. Um, this is a variable voltage battery that comes with it. It's an, eight, an 800 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it comes with a 16D uh, bottom dual coil tank with it. Uh, but it's also a pass-through as well, so you can actually connect it to your laptop or whatever and vape away at the same time whilst it's charging. Uh, it's hard to fault it, it really is hard to fault this. I think what we'll do is we'll just go in for a close-up straight away and uh, get on with this. Now, I'm going to show you the pink version. Uh, the key thing to point out is, you know, they have this, this design going on in the battery. Uh, this is what we have in the pink version. You've got that going on. The black version is, it's quite hard to pick up the design on the black version. It's not great, but it's it's there. The silver version, it actually looks like it's almost engraved into the metal, which is far nicer. I think this, the silver one is really, really nice looking. I'm quite impressed with that one, but uh, we'll just, I've got the pink one open here, so we'll go for that. Now the battery itself, as I said, it's a variable voltage battery, and a thing I like straight off the mark is that the button is lined up directly with the voltage selector. So you know that the, the voltage you're on is going to be directly below the button. And that's that's just great straight away. Um, now, it starts off at 3.5. So I can turn this right round here. So I'm at 3.5 here. I'll get in there. And, you know, you can go round robin this as well. You know, you can spin this thing right round. It doesn't get stuck at either end. So you can go, you know, 3.5. 3.8, 4, then it goes 4.3, 4.5, 4.8, and 5 volts. It goes all the way up to 5 volts, like so. We have connector in here, Ego threading, 510 threading going on there. We also have on this one a USB pass through, micro USB cable does come supplied and we do one two three three clicks on and it lights up green uh, it does give you an indicator on uh, you know what charge it's at if it falls to yellow it's at half power red it's on low power and you got to charge it when it gets to red basically as I said it's an 800 milliamp hour battery in it uh, the thing I noticed, I connected this, this up to the oscilloscope and there's no pulse width modulation or anything like that going on. It's just direct current coming out, a flat line on the oscilloscope, which is great. Just switching back to the black one version here. This is the one I've been using for the past few weeks. Do you know, it's... As a, a battery, it, it's really hard to fault this. Uh, yes, the 800 milliamp hour, it's not going to last you a long time, really. Um, 
but the fact that it's got pass through going on there so you can just plug in the supplied USB cable and vape away uh, which is just fantastic the the 16D that comes with it you know this has been around for a while it's a 2mm capacity on this one it's dual coil uh, I think it's a 2.1 ohm head that's in it now the standard that comes with it, I've always found the 16D to be a quite tight airflow, so I've actually drilled the holes out around the bottom to 1.5mm each one, just to increase the airflow for my vaping style. Here's the standard one, you can see it's got the standard air holes there, and here's mine with the bigger air holes. And I, I, it doesn't make it a lung buster, it just makes it a more comfortable draw for me because I just find this a bit too tight you know you fill from the bottom and we have the 2.1 ohm head in here like so and you can buy them and replace them And that's it. There's no, you know, the, the mouthpiece that comes with it, you can't change it over, you can't use any other drip tips, you have to use the one that's built into it. I mean, as for what comes with the kit, I mean, <laughs> you're getting, you know, a plinth, you know, if you've got uh, another tank or something that you want to, isn't ego threaded, you can give it that look. You get a, a USB cable, you also get a lanyard, uh, so you can hang it around your neck. Uh, there is a full set of instructions that come with it on the tank and how to use the actual device. So uh, really in my opinion, uh, as it comes, it's quite impressive. Uh, the only thing I've got to point out, as I said, it's, uh, it doesn't use pulse width modulation or anything like that. It's got a 3 amp switch on it, you know, you're not going to be sub-ohming or anything on this. It's actually recommended that the lowest you go is 1.20, uh, but they do recommend that you use the 2.1 ohm dual coil with it. Uh, so be aware of that. You know, if you're going to be running this at 5 volts without the pass-through, you're not going to get a lot of time out of this battery. Using my lanyard. Um, I've never really used a lanyard before, but it's quite funky. What voltage am I on? Oh, pretty low. Uh, I'm going to put this to 4.5 because it's a 2.1 ohm head and I need that kick. I could probably go to 5 on this, thing, but that's just my vaping style. Yes, that was a plane going overhead. <laughs> As a package, the QVC hands are coming out. Ah, stop it. Um, as a package, I think this, for the money, is first rate. I really do. I, I think they've nailed it with this as a, a package. You, you know, you're getting the, a variable, variable voltage up to 5 watts, volts, up to 5 volts, pass through, lanyard, plinth, USB cable, different colours, looks, I, 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 you know, 10 out of 10 to them for coming up with this. Uh, it, it, as a starter pack, it's just hard to fault it. The weak link, if anything in this, is the 16D. It, it, it's not, I was about to unscrew that and put juice everywhere. <laughs> um, it's not, it's okay. I mean, it's what we use for, as testers in the shop. Um, and, you know, they do work and they work well, but if you like a more open draw, um, personally, I find the 2.1 ohm head just a bit too high for me uh, and the draw is just a bit too tight. Um, but you know, I can. That's me. I've got my steam machine VST on it, which is 
always been my favourite device to put on an Ego battery. That's better. That's a lot better. Uh, so, yeah, really, for me, the only... is this. It's the only thing that I'm not 100% keen on. For somebody starting out vaping, I think they'll be more than happy with it because they will get the flavour and the vape to get them started. And yes, they can always crank up the voltage and, you know, get more clouds of vapour and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't need this lanyard anymore, do I? Um, so that's it from me. Just bear in mind, please, that, you know, this is not for subomen or any ridiculous low resistances, things like that. This is a starter kit. Uh, yes, you can crank it up to full 5 volts. Uh, there is going to be a voltage drop there. Um, I haven't actually checked it. I should. I will. I'll go and do that right now. Right, I've run this through the oscilloscope and, and so on. And, you know, when... I hook the battery up and I put the voltage settings to 4, 5, whatever, it's bang on the button. Under load with the the standard head, uh, you know, the, the highest reading that uh, output I'm getting under load is like 4.7. Uh, that's as high as it's going to go. Um, that's under load. It's only got a tiny little 3 amp rating on it, so it just goes back to the start again. You know, don't expect miracles out of this thing. Um, you know, even if you're going down to a 1.2 ohm coil, uh, you're not going to get... It's, it's really going to suffer performance-wise. This is designed for beginners. It's a starter kit. You know, 1.8, 2 ohm, 2.1 ohm heads. This is really where it's designed for, so bear that in mind. As a starter kit, if it's about the 30 quid mark, I think it's great. It's really good. I think they've done exceptionally well to get that out at this price point, And I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. Maybe not in pink. I'd like to thank Inikin for sending this on. I uh, really have enjoyed vaping with this. Uh, as I said, the only weak point for me is the, the 16D. It's not my favourite tank. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. That's it from me. Uh, Demetrius, uh, the Vaping Greek, has already done a review on this. So if you want another viewpoint, you can go and watch his video. Um, I'd like to thank Inikin for sending this on. Um, and to you guys, as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch up with you soon. Cheers now. Bye. Hi guys, Todd here. Going to be having a look at a starter kit today. This is from Inikin and it's the CLK. <laughs> Fuck it, keep going. <clears throat> Hi guys, Todd here. Today. <laughs> Stop it! Pause.